Hello everyone! Today's video is all about my favorite beauty apps I can't live without. And a lot of you guys have been asking me about what apps I use for editing my photos, so here they are. First up, my favorite app at the moment is Facetune. I normally use this to help with whitening my backgrounds, and it's great if you love that crisp and bright aesthetic to your photos. Taking the whiten tool, I'm going to run my finger all over the marble table and being careful not to touch the places I don't want to have whitened. There's also a before and after button so you can see the difference. I like to go over once, and then if I think I need to whiten a bit more, I'll go over a second time. And another feature I love about Facetune is the details function. If you want a certain object to look a bit sharper and have more detail, just run your finger over the object and the photo will pop out so much more. I'll lighten up the photo just a tad and add a filter and it's done! The next app I'm going to show you guys is Afterlight. This app is really great for lighting effects. So here's a photo I took when we were in Los Cabos and I want to give it that summer feel with a bit of a fade. First I'm going to do a few touch-ups like clarify, brighten, and using a contrast. Then I'll pick a filter. Now here's the fun part, choosing a lighting effect. I'm really into number 25 and feel that this afterlight effect gives the photo that summer vibe I'm really going for. Now if you love creating collages, I love pick collage. There are templates you can use or you can create your very own, but for this I'll be using a template. You can easily tap and remove the sample photos and just pick your own photos and replace them. And they will auto populate into the template so it's really really easy. You can also add text to it as well. I'm doing a little coffee collage here and I love that this template is clean and bright and it's perfect for food collages. If you're into creating higher-end looking covers or maybe you want to start a portfolio, Maldive is a great app to use. Taking the template here, I wanted to create a little cover of some of the great shots we took at Toronto Fashion Week with the Maybelline squad. These were some of the shots we took just outside the fashion tents and if you guys followed us on Snapchat, we just had a blast and we're so happy we were able to share it with you guys. Now going back to the app, just like Pic Collage, you just choose the photos you want and you're able to switch them around and adjust them to your liking. I'm going to change the text to reflect what the piece is about and ta-da! We're done! A beautiful looking portfolio done in just a few minutes. For those of you who use video, Splice is a great video editing app that helps you trim and cut down clips really easily. If you plan on putting a video up on Twitter or Instagram, you'll know that there is a max length. This is a slow-mo video I took at Toronto Fashion Week on the runway. I've been really into slow-mos recently and if you guys watched my Los Cabos travel vlog, you would have seen a lot of that going on too. I don't know, I just feel like everything looks better in slow-mo. What do you guys think? Now back to the app. You just select the video and it will import it into the app. I'm going to add a filter to give it a bit more of a fashion-y feel and then I'm going to trim this down to about 15 seconds so it's not too long. And as easy as that, we're done and ready to post. And last but not least, one of my favorite apps to do side-by-side -side shots is Split Pick. Taking this template, I'm going to choose two shots that I want to see side-by-side. -side. You can adjust the size, the brightness, the contrast, and ratio within this app too. It's perfect for those makeup before and afters, a front shot and side shot, and definitely those outfit of the day posts too. And that's all for today! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some tips and tricks on how to bring your photo editing skills to the next level. Love you guys so so much and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye!